Okay, what I want to show you is fiddlestick for care and cleaning in general. This isn't an actual fiddlestick, it's a slightly different shape, but it's still Lexan polycarbonate, approximately the same dimensions. Uh, you should really never need to clean them or do anything with them. If you decide to, soap and water, or just water and rinse it off. Uh, in general, just keep harsh chemicals away from these. Let me explain why. Uh, one of the chemicals that reacts badly with Lexan or polycarbonate is acetone. So first off, I'm going to show you how strong this is without it. And I'm pretty much standing and bouncing on that between two 2x4s. Two As you can see, it's really strong there. And something happens to it when you hit, hit it with acetone. It is uh, not very comfortable. I'm just going to keep this to keep my uh, hands away from it. So as you can see, I can push really hard and go nuts on this. If I just put a little downward pressure, oh, 5, 10 pounds. This is acetone. Just pour some acetone on there. Snaps clean in half. As you can see, that's not something you want to do is have acetone near this. Uh, something I did want to let everybody know, though, also, is if you douse this in acetone, this is another stick exactly the same. This is also now just as weak as that one was with acetone on it. But if you let this completely dry off, let's get all this dried out, you'll notice a bunch of discoloration. It's all plasticky and... Uh, cloudy. You've, you've done some damage there. But once it's all completely dried out, it's back to being strong again, although I wouldn't trust it. So the acetone pretty much has to be reacting with it right at the moment. It's pretty much back to strong again. So no acetone, anything. Just keep all harsh chemicals away from your fiddlestick in general. Soap and water if you want to do anything to it at all. That uh, hopefully helps.